poster With my face on a giant poster Tonight we're having oysters With the Kobe steak in the toaster Waiting to feed my lions and shit You better deal with it Wait here, I'm about to pick up Skull and Jay and then Natalie P What you call This is that I ordered for here, <laughs> for this room and I really love this and it's gonna work really nice because we have a fireplace out there but when we have that fireplace going then this room gets really cold so that way I'm going to have another cozy spot I can have some rug over here and I put this little TV here for tonight because tonight we're going to watch Everybody Loves Raymond with my boys they're really into that lately <laughs> it's really fun to watch Oh. <laughs> I got my amazing shot. <laughs> that looks good. <laughs> you see why I was complaining? Even before but I, I wanted anything. to make it pretty. <laughs> oh, yes, you did. It's pretty. <laughs> Good old way, okay? Okay. I'll use this glass too. <laughs> I got my fertilizer and I have the next one I just put this in there this one kind of like it's almost like fermented I would say so I think the plants going to have a good time this is the lettuce that I bought at the store and we eat it I just put it into the dirt so it came with the root so this is a buttered uh, lettuce and check this out it started to grow and look at this one and I have one over here and I put some coffee ground here
used this laptop for like what six months oh. we didn't even know we we're going to move <laughs> when I used this a last time and this is what has the program that I have to use for the cutting machine so I don't know if it's gonna work I started to cut out some patterns to create something that I can send to my sister for an occasion and this is something I can just put together with a little tape and I can put a little light in there so it looks very pretty and I choose um, a few of a bird pattern because I know she likes that ones. I love paper generally I think it's it's such a great thing to decorate with and uh, there's so many options that I can use the only thing is that me personally I have a hard time to figuring out that machine maybe it's just me I don't know but the software that it comes with that it's um, I don't know I have my own struggle with that although I, I see the potential and I can create things for each season so I almost think like this is the all the decoration almost I have that I can create with this machine so basically this machine can produce me a bunch of decorations without spending any money I mean I have to spend on the paper but it's not expensive so that way I can decorate more creatively Finally the little chickens are living in the coop but we still have to do a lot of things here. We want to put some windows on it and some openings to the chicken run and we still have to do the chicken run itself so we want to have a covered area for them. So there's still a lot to do but it's getting nicer. What's going on? Oh, there's a light bulb. I know, I know, leave it there. <laughs> Why? Because... It's uh, a decoy? <laughs> no, right now, <laughs> right now there's a heat lamp in there. And so oh, and when you it, want When change. it's hot, okay. I replace it with a regular okay. bulb. So these are the trees that you pushed out today? Yeah. Yeah, these are pretty much dead. Yeah, that one is. Guys, all the trees 
just like that. It's, it's all dry and dead. It's pretty bad, isn't it? You don't, you don't want to stand underneath in the wind. <laughs> Not in the and today forest. it's kind of windy. The yeah. camera doesn't give back that cracking noise. It's kind of like the witch opens the door <laughs> to yeah. its house. <laughs> it's like a haunted forest. Well, we got a monkey in there, so. So, guys, this is the situation over here. These are already falling down, so Joel just give them. Wait. Oh, it's all cool stuff. Giving them a push with an excavator. Uh, I don't know. Should I go down there? I really wanna check out. Uh, maybe I shouldn't. Let's go that way. Yeah, it's safer that way. So, and we're going to try to save as much as we can. So we're planning to add a little bench here and there. <laughs> if there are any trees that we can um, save, just make a nice walking area if there's any trees left that is still alive. I mean, each day we see more and more trees are coming down. And so far we got lucky it's not falling to the property next to us. So if you missed that video, this area behind me, it's an old Christmas tree farm. They planted a bunch of trees very close to each other. And then the next year they put another tree between them. So, and I don't know what happened, but they just abandoned, they left it as is to grow and they, they, they didn't get enough sunshine and nutrition. They were very close to each other. So they didn't, <laughs> they didn't develop uh, proper roots and most of them are rotten and dead. We thought it's gonna be a cool forest. We can make a little pathway here and there and just put a bench and it's kind of like a little park. <laughs> That's not the case. <laughs> And then as we bought the property, we were thinking, oh my goodness, that could be too big of a bite for us. And then Jod had this genius idea and processed them. And we already see the benefits of that because we made the chicken coop out of that material or the raised beds. Oh, wow. Look at that. Oh, it's vintage. Coca-Cola. Hmm. Yeah, there's some garbage here as well. <laughs> so, we're planning to clean up this very nicely. And uh, we, don't, we don't know how many trees will be alive here. So we're still just going through and sort them out, but <laughs> it's going to take years. But for now, what we're trying to do is to pave our driveway we have a very very long driveway we want to put asphalt on it and create a little area where um, whoever comes um, uh, friends amazon truck whatever you name it so they have an area where they can park that's parking area i want to have two basketball hoop so one of our best friends lives next door it was a purposeful move <laughs> because of that so we want to play basketball that would be really nice so that's my plan to put a basketball i mean it's not going to be a big area it's just like for three cars but it's enough to fool around and play around after dinner or something let me show you what Joat is working on <laughs> out the recipe for you guys you guys been asking so I will give a shot <laughs> I usually feel when I am just adding one by one and I'm just feeling it so once I start to measure it out it's kind of downhill from that but I will do my best so <laughs> that's what I'm going to work on now
So, the texture should be something like that. It's like creamy and soft. So, we're going to find out really soon. Okay, now this is gonna be a little bit trickier to measure out because usually I just use um, a glass, but now I'm trying to do it in here. And you're only going to need some maple syrup and cacao. And as I said before, the cacao is the real stuff. The cocoa is the processed one. So I'm not going to measure out the, the ratio because it's just half and half. Like as you can see, the texture, it just have to be a, a thicker texture. So let's just try and shoot for half a cup maybe. Let's see, we can add later on. I think that's gonna equal one tablespoon. So one and bleh, two. And for that, I like to use this itty bitty thing. And I didn't have this for a long time because I was like, I have a bigger one, so why would I waste my space with that? But honestly, it's totally worth it. So now that I'm mixing little things like eggs and stuff like that, it's really, really useful. So if you have a thinner paste, then it will sink into the bottom and it's yummy too so if it goes down on the bottom that's good too so we tried the both way but i prefer a little bit thicker so we can see the pattern on the top but once i be oh man <gasps> my pants oh my gosh look at that guys oh 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 no amy oh okay comes out it's not bad but you see, this is my floor, it's always dirty. <laughs> you can't really ruin it, you can just add one or the other. If you see it's not thick enough, you can just add some more cocoa, pow cocoa powder. Now I'm just going to use a chopstick. I mean, really, you can use anything you want. Honestly, this is the fun part. This is what I love. You can do whatever pattern you like. Look at that pattern, isn't that yummy? Mm. You can find the recipe down below in the description box. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you guys soon. Bye!